Let's just go for it. What's up? I'm Trent Windsor, and we're here in search of the perfect shuffle. It's time for a segment of new editions where I go through all the new music for the month, and I review all the stuff that I think is worth listening to, worth putting on your playlists, and just generally worth having around. This is my first time doing a new editions for a full month. Because of that, there's no way I could cover all of the good new music for the whole month. But what I have done is I've compiled a playlist of all of that music, and I'm gonna hit the highlights, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort by musical genre for this one, and I have a good range of genres of music to tell you about today. So hopefully everybody finds something that they are interested in that really strikes their fancy, and that makes it on a regular rotation on your playlists and on your shuffle. First genre on the docket is rap slash hip hop. There's been some good rap that came out in April. Specifically, there's a couple albums I'd like to mention that I think you should check out. Pivot Gang, which includes Saba, which I talked about in my XXL freshman list. They have put out an album as a collective. Also, Schoolboy Q released an album this month, so go check that out as well. There's a couple of rap songs that I wanted to talk about in this video. The first one is called Song 32, and it is by No Name, another one of my XXL freshmen. The beat is sultry, it's understated, it kind of has a noir feel to it. It's also got these gospel-esque organs in there that add a little flavor, a little spice to it. The beat I really love, and that's what really captures my attention from the start. Those gospel organs are there for a reason because she's taking us to church. Hallelujah! The lyrics are very topical, and her flow is just flawless. It's rapid fire, but it's still intelligible. This song is 30% skippable. The next song in the rap genre that I'd like to talk about is called Vossy Bop. Vossy Bop. It's called Vossy Bop, and it's by Stormzy. Stormzy is a grime rapper, and this song is as grimy as it gets. The beat is dark and brooding. The bass hits are actually played in reverse, which gives it this really cool, unique sound. In this song, he says, my brothers don't dab, we just bossy bop. I'm really tempted to use a really terrible British accent. You put your hand out and you're, you just. <laughs> so you can do that instead of, instead of dabbing, but only if you're in London, okay? Only if you're in London. Non-Londoners, get that itch out of here. Go back to dabbing. Stormzy in this one has a fantastic flow. His voice is really unique. It's unlike any other rapper that I've ever heard. It's actually got a really cool video as well. I love Idris Elba's cameo in the video. This one is 25% skippable. Next, we transition into the R&B side of hip hop. There have been some great albums that came out from this genre as well. Lizzo released her debut album, Cause I Love You. Go ahead and check that out right now. It's so good. I wouldn't mind if you pause this video, but please come back to the video and finish it. Also, another newcomer, Lolo Zuai, released a really cool and unique R&B hip hop inspired album that I've really been taken by, especially the single Caffeine. The song I'd like to talk about though is called Peach and it's by Kevin Abstract. It features some really sweet and catchy vocals from Dominic Fike, who seems to be a new friend of Kevin Abstract and the Brockhampton crew. Also features great cameos from Joba and Bareface of Brockhampton. This song is really catchy and it's just wide open. It's raw, it's emotional, and it's there for the whole world to see. Kevin really just opens up his heart on this song and on this whole new project that he just released, Arizona Baby, which is another one that you should go check out. This is all backed by an acoustic guitar beat with some really immaculate production, some really unique little touches on there. This song is 35% skippable. Moving on from there, there's been some really great indie rock that came out this month. If you liked that song, When Am I Gonna Lose You by Local Natives, they released their whole album this month, which is definitely worth a listen. An artist that I was introduced to this month that I really love, that came out with a new album, is Soak. Go ahead and listen to Soak's new album. There's a couple of songs that I'd really like to talk about in this genre. The first one is called Unbearably White, and it is by Vampire Weekend. I don't know if you can tell why I like this song. White. This is actually a really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. This song just has these three elements that really come together. It's these beautifully simple guitars, these soft and emotional vocals, and then these deeply emotional and 
personal lyrics that come together to just form an incredibly beautiful song that just gives me the chills. It's so good and I've been back to it again and again and again because I can't get enough of that feeling that this song gives me. It really is special. It's a special song. This is another one with incredible production with some really small touches that just push it over the edge and just bring out the emotion of the song. I can't say enough good things about this song and so I'll save it. I'll just let you listen to it. But this one is 10% skippable. Do not miss it. Another song in this genre that really caught my attention is called Drugs in the Internet by Love. Oh, Love. This song is more of a ballad, but with an upbeat twist. We start out with a piano and the raw vocal and just these deeply personal and open lyrics. And then we transition to an upbeat and kind of danceable chorus that has more frank and sarcastic lyrics. It's this perfect balance between understated and emotional and bold and reckless. Perfectly balanced. I would really love the emotional undertones of this song. I love the way that it makes you feel, and I love the balance of these two sentiments. This one is 20% skippable. There's been a lot of really decent electro pop that's come out this month. The song that I like to talk about from this genre is called Satellite, and it's by Two Door Cinema Club. This song has the energy and the creativity that I love from Two Door Cinema Club. It's got these driving synths that start you out, and then those are topped off by some Mr. Roboto by Styx vibes from the singer. And then Mr. Roboto just starts boogieing down doing the robo buggy. It's got these spacey guitars. It's got this catchy and somewhat understated chorus. I'm cautiously optimistic about this upcoming album because I really love this song. This one is 25% skippable. Rock! Rock! There's been some great rock that has come out this month. Another artist that I was introduced to this month is called Heart Attack Man. It's a really cool rock band, and they released a brand new album as well this month. So go check that one out. The song that I like to talk about from this genre is called Bloody Mary Kate and Ashley, and it's by Pup, who also released a full-length album this month. Yes. Another full length album that you need to go listen to. This song is an incredible punk track with these insane untethered instrumentals. Everybody on this track just goes so hard. You've got these incredible guitars that are just way out here. You've got these drums that are just driving and they are varied. They're exciting throughout the whole track. You got these vocals that are just so pumped up and just wild. I love it. It's just pure energy. Such a fun song. Really enjoy it. This one is 30% skippable. Last, there's been some interesting Latin music that was released. Latin. Now specifically, there's one song that I'd like to talk about, and it's called Siempre Papi Nunca In Papi by Luigi21 Plus and J Balvin. That this song has a hot beat. The beat is so hot and it just makes you want to move your hips. And if you want to see more examples of how unbearably white I am, I will move my hips for you. I assume that their flows are good. I don't understand Spanish. They can be talking about anything, you know, beats me. It's probably crazy sexual and really inappropriate. It sounds like a song from a Step Up movie. It really just makes you want to move your body. The term siempre papi nunca in papi means always daddy, never undaddy and I will leave you to interpret that. This song, however, is 35% skippable. And that does it for all of the music of the month. Lucky for you, I have compiled all of these songs and all of the songs I didn't talk about onto a playlist, and I will link the playlist below on Apple Music and Spotify. I'm also gonna take all of the previous new editions playlists and compress them into month-long playlists. So you no longer have to go week by week, and those will be linked below as well. If you like what I'm doing here, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications, because you want to get notified when these videos drop. Go ahead and leave a comment below, let me know what you thought about any of this music, and let me know if I missed anything in the month of April that I should go back to. I'm Trent Windsor, and this is The Perfect Shuffle.